Hi and welcome to the 68th Hammer Tutorial. Today we're going to be working with a little bit of an optimization trick that has been added um, in the 2009 update. It's been here for a while but not many people use it. It's called Funk Viz Cluster and nearing the completion of my map that I have open here. It is an outside environment and when VViz runs through the map it creates all the viz leaves that it needs and it goes in each viz leaf and it sees what other leaves it can see. Now on completion of the map I went through my compile log just to check for errors and everything was looking good until I noticed my time on vviz.exe so it took two well nearing two hours took one hour 56 minutes and 56 seconds to complete vviz which should not take that long I mean the lighting should have taken the longest time and it only took 41 minutes so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna cut down our vivas time for big open areas. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pretty much eliminate everything from viz groups that does not cut a leaf. So you want to get rid of three to skybox. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of those. And get rid of all the trees. Clear up my vision a little bit. And that should be good because this is all I want to see. I just want to see what everything out here will look like when it can see itself. So, now we're going to go ahead and create some viz clusters. So, what you need to do first is select your trigger texture. And, like I said, we're manually telling vivas what leaves can see what. So, we want to go with the obvious here. Obviously, all these uh, viz leaves in this area that I'm about to outline here can see each other so all of these can see each other and I, I know they can so let's create a viz cluster here and just remember the viz clusters are only used to cut down compile times so they will not help the finished product in any way this is just helping cut down compile times like I said two hours a little lengthy even though this is a big map so once you've created your viz, I mean your trigger brush, press Control T and make it a funk viz cluster. This entity has no options at all. It just manually tells vviz that all these leaves can see each other and it will help cut down compile time. Now, if you have any hint and skip in your map manually made, you're going to want to take these into account when splitting your viz leaves because you manually split viz leaves you don't want them to be split all funky like because you manually told vivas to do something wrong so make sure you know what you're doing when you're cutting your viz leaves because otherwise it will it will turn out badly because you just pretty much undid everything that hit and skip just did so after you're done with all your viz clusters just save the map and compile it like normal and then your compile times should be majorly cut down I'll post my compile log at the end of this tutorial just to show you guys how much of an increase this helped but it's gonna take a little bit to compile so I'm just gonna let that go after I'm done doing this okay so it's officially the next day from my clock down here and the map has been compiled if we look at the log we can see that VRAD has taken the exact same time at a roughly 45 minutes so that was not supposed to be affected but let me scroll to VIVAS here it is the VIVAS only took 20 minutes and 18 seconds over an hour and 56 minutes so from just creating those few simple brushes the map itself hasn't changed but it compiles a lot faster it cut the it cut an hour and 40 minutes off the vviz compile time making it easier for you to test your map um as always i hope this tutorial helped you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe